Right then, here's the frame I've put together. My daughter made, uh, this will be the front face of it. I'm doing the Banshee method on this. So this is hence the video. So it's a bit rough now. I wasn't sure whether I had to um, sand it down prior, but as the joints are not quite what they should be, I don't think it's hurt to, uh, that's the back anyway, um, to give it a quick sand because the grain's still going to be there. So I'll just pause that while I sand it. Right then. As you can hear, I've got the black burner going. Uh, it's all sanded off. And this is uh, the sanded finish. Well, it's a bit rough there, but not too bothered about that. So we'll just start up and down with the torch just to burn the wood. Clean the grain out. Colours out. I don't think it matters too. You want a nice even um, displacement. You're going to rub this down again after. But because I'm recording on my phone. I shall um, have to put this down in a second. It's about even. It's good. So I've got to turn it over now. So I'll just pause that a sec. Right then, and here's the uh, last bit to be done. My first attempt at this, which is why I'm feeling it like this. I've got a um, sand it now. Turn that off. So you can hear me. I'm going to sand it off now. I've got this this flat wheel here, which is a nylon, or you could use a wire brush. Well, I'll just uh, pause that and I'll get it on the floor. On the, on the thing clamped down. Right, I'm sorry the video is a little wonky, but I've got it uh, balanced on a uh, running machine and I've got some matches underneath it. So, This is the Japanese way of sealing wood by burning the eggs. And that's about it. So now I'll start with the uh, adding the colour. So when I get that ready, I'll just pause this for now. Okay then, right, here's the high-tech equipment I've got, which is a, uh, a sponge brush, a bit of water, the uh, food colouring, and I'll, if I can work out how to put a description in the link, I should have put all them round really, shouldn't I, to so you can see all the different... Um, colours so I'll just dry a few of them on the frame let it dry and we'll see how we go from there so I'll put those paints on here I'll just pause the video 
to save your seconds. Okay, right, there's my colours there. And these are what they are, they're the... Oops, one second. Right, start again. There's the uh, navy. Red, I'm still not focusing in for some reason. I'm, I don't know what... Ah, uh, oh, that's better. Green, jade, lemon, red and navy. There was something on the screen, I don't know what that was for. And uh, just put a little bit of water in these and I'm going to rub it on the wood and see what it looks like. I'll pause that while I do that. Right, so I'm doing this by hand. First goes the navy. So I think we'll just have a a bit like that. A bit like that. Like that. And a bit like that. Yeah. I'll just wash the uh, brush. Doesn't matter if it's too, um, too what's it. And I'll, and I'll go for the, um, the lemon or whatever it is now. And there's a bit of water in the brush. So we're going to have maybe a bit there. A bit there. There. It's a nice colour, isn't it? Um, along there. Uh, and a bit in the corner. There you go, and we'll wash that out again. And we'll go for the uh, green. With the green, just uh, a long line. That's a lovely green, that is. I think I'll run that next to the uh, yellow. Um, yeah, Bit more green up there, I think. And quite nowhere I'm getting with this, but I can always sand it down. That's the fun thing about doing stuff like this. There's a red, there's a red in there. Remember, guys, it's just normal old food colouring because I don't want to do too much red because there's, uh, there's a lot of red in the picture. Uh, and the last one colour is uh, this one here which is teal which is another green but not as uh, not as what's it so I'll just uh, so I'm quite happy with that. So anyway, there's the big picture of it at the moment. It's a unique frame of giving myself that. And uh, when that dries in the morning, I'll uh, put some sealant on her, put the picture in and show you the finished project. Okie do then. Here is the um, dried finished look. And I'm going to use a exterior outdoor matte varnish. And I'm just hoping that it doesn't um, spread the colours. And once that varnish is dry, I'm going to put the picture in and that will be the end result. So I'll just pause this for a second. Right now the light's not too good here. But I hope it's hope it's light enough for you. And we'll just see if it runs. Runs the colour. And uh, I'll just uh, that like that. I'll bring this over here so you can. 
clear, a little clear what I'm doing. Playing too fast, hard to uh, have a look at the phone to see what you're doing. <laughs> Let's slap it on. It'll be too fussy. It's be a matte finish, but it's brought the colour out nice, hasn't it? And uh, I might do two coats, or just see how the first coat is. Yet I don't know. We'll see. And my mate was round earlier, and I was just saying to him, I'll have a word with my daughter first to see if she wants a. Um, See if she wants a uh, a fancy edging, so it'll like have a almost like a white wood line around the edge, or we'll just leave it as it is. I'll see what she says. This is the uh, coat going on, so I'll just finish this off. And next time you see me, it will be when the uh, picture's in. Thanks for watching. All right then, Ellie, I got this um, tape. Because obviously you had that gap on the on the on the uh, picture, so I've, I've put this tape around the edge like that. See, so go around the picture, and I'm just gonna get some plastic now, put it in the frame, and then you'll have to get the glass when I get down there. And let's know what you think. And it's steamed up since I brought it in, but uh, here's the big reveal. There it is, and. Uh, in the frame with some plastic on and uh, that's it.